Hello, and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 3. We are currently killing our brother-in-law, Brennett. Why are we killing Brennett? Well, because he is the only thing between us and the Stormlands. If we have a look at the Stormlands here, you'll see. It goes Ethan. It then goes Ballara. It would then go Brennett, but if it doesn't, it then goes to our wife, Tansy. Then it goes to our child, Joanna, and lo and behold, we have the Stormlands. Fantastic. So, that's what we're doing there. Now, as for the Iron Throne, which I don't know why I zoomed in like that to get there, the Iron Throne is currently held by Lawless. Now, when Lawless dies, her heir is Raymond. Raymond is betrothed to our sister, Carole, which means if they have a child, the Iron Throne is ours eventually. We are in an eventually state. It's not ours yet, but it's possible. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for possible things. But, yeah, we just need to see. In theory, this is the only thing we, we have left to do, and then we wait four years and we're done. Well, five, six years, depending on how long it takes them to have a child. But, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, many things could go wrong. That's our current situation. And it's been a situation for a while. And many things have gone wrong in the past, so, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see where things go. We're also, at the same time, trying to make a uh, Castamere, which is going to take us, what, like another seven years? Yeah, so we'll see how long that takes. Right. New Intrigue perk. I'm going to take Murder Scheme Power, which is going to make schemes go quicker. And then, can I pivot? I can't pivot. When can I pivot? I can pivot in a year. Yeah, the reason I want to pivot to this is so that we can start working on professional workforce. Because if we're going to get Castamere, I'd like it to be 30% quicker. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, you want a knight to be tutored? Sure. Uh, I'm not going to go to your feast. We should probably marry people off in our court, potentially, but we're not too worried about that. There's a liberty faction against us, but it's so weak, I'm not really sure why they bothered. Cool. Secrets exposed. Uh, these are not but malice and lies, obviously. Get a little bit extra opinion. And continue chilling. Uh, I think I'm going to save money as well. We could, in theory, um, go and do a whole bunch of things. We could, in theory, go and join this grand tournament. We could, in theory, do some building. I think saving some money right now is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, our daughter is bossy. And the reason why we might want to save money is for Castamere, basically. I don't know how much the next part is going to cost. So having a little bit built up would definitely help us. Not having a caravan master is also absolutely fine because uh, we're not going anywhere. And we can hire one when we go somewhere. So that's fine. Yeah, I think we're mostly just chilling. Um, the murder scheme is about to fire, which would be good. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else that we actually need to do right now, but I think we're mostly clear. A trail in the forest, let's see. Does this kill him? Uh, yes. Brennett is dead. Wonderful. Right. So Brennett's gone, which now means that if I go and have a look at the Stormlands, uh, it goes Ballara. Ballara has no more children. So that is then going to go to Tansy, and that is all perfect. In fact, we should be able to see this here. Alara, Tansy, Joanna. Perfect. That goes directly to our daughter. You'll love to see it. Okay, cool. Knights are qualifying for tournaments, uh, so that's the grand tournament we didn't go to, which is fine. And now we're kind of... Um, we're kind of clear. We don't need to do anything else. Uh, let's see. Ninth month is when we can change our focus. I was just wondering whether there was anywhere else that we could, in theory, try and take in the meantime. But I don't think we have any connections that far out. I think a couple of generations ago, our family had those connections to, like, Dorne, the Iron Islands, the North. But that kind of all got removed uh, via some deaths. So, yeah, we'll see. Let's put in Arana here, and then she will continue making us a little extra money. Nice. Okay. Cool. We could declare war, but that would be too easy. So that's why we're not. Castamere is still going. Hello, Cavan. Thank you for the money and the uh, renown. Ooh. 
Oh, one. I can fix yours. Cool. And two. Not but malice and lies. And then we can go in here and we can grab something. So we can get scheme secrecy for free. Which would be quite nice. Is there anything else that we could get? Oh, Westerman. All that glitters is gold. So holding taxes is very nice. Building construction time would be nice. West 5. Good name. Uh, just see if we have anything else that's going to be very good for us. No, so I think I'm between, uh, yeah, I think I'm between natural schemers and taking this one, maybe? Yeah. Natural schemers and golden stool. How much do we make from holding taxes? Holding taxes. Domain 23, so that would get us uh, about two gold a month. Okay, now I'm less excited about that. Let's take natural schemers, even though we're probably going to switch from it in a second. You know, it might be useful in the future. Right, uh, we can pardon our spy master. What did she do? She's a fornicator. Alright, I pardon you. That's fine. Carry on. Okay. Uh, we could start killing people, I suppose, to get things going where we need them to go. And we could start killing Ethan to then make Balara um, in charge of the Stormlands. And kill Ballara to make Tansy in charge of the Stormlands. It might be a good idea to do that. It might be. I think killing Ethan is probably a good idea. Because if we kill Ethan... I was just thinking in my he head here and just randomly clicking while I did. Uh, if we kill Ethan... Then we can guarantee there are no more children from this generation. She's not going to have any more children. So that pretty much guarantees that it will pass to Tansy at some point. Yes. Alright, so we'll kill Ethan. There we go. Uh, and let's get some people into this. So two people can are, are willing to join. Let's see, let's go for uh, Arstan. Let's go for Ronald. Let's get those two in here. There we go, we're at 95%. Wonderful. Right. Did he just change his outfit? I think he did. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Right. People are being excommunicated. That's fine. I mean, pardon our vassal. What, what are you doing? You're an adulterer and you're excommunicated. All right, I will pardon you. That's fine. Raymond is 13, so we're getting closer and closer on Raymond. Uh, oh, we can... Uh, oh, no, it's another three months till we can uh, pivot. It's fine. We'll pardon that person as well. Um... You've rescinded my Master of Whisperers appointment. Um, excuse me? You've given it to Lord Dennis. I get the feeling Lord Dennis might have had a hook. Yeah, I think Lord Dennis probably had a hook on her. Are we still good on this scheme? I think so, yeah. I think we're fine. Okay. Get rid of that. Oh, you got some purple in there. Let's just, uh, quick... Oh. You're a different, uh, thing. Never mind. You're not in, inside our realm. I was going to change his uh, thing back to historical. That's okay. You'd like me to be spy master. Uh, mm, tough choice. You actually just fired your previous one. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll accept. That seems good. We're now spy master again. Wonderful. Ninth moon. And we can change it on the 24th. You pardon our vassal. Let's pardon them. 24th of the ninth moon. So, we got to the 24th. We can now immediately switch over. Uh, although we could get one more. What would we get for one more? We'd get Hostile Scheme Success Chance plus 25%. Yeah, let's just wait for that, actually. Because our Intrigue lifestyle is going up pretty quickly. So we'll wait for the next one, and then we can switch to uh, Stewardship. Need a new Spy Master. New Spy Master is going to be Edrina. Fantastic. She's helping us out, so we should still be able to get this kill going. Great. You invited me to a hunt? Absolutely not. Right. Uh, court physicians become better. We haven't replaced our maester in a while, which probably means he's about to die. Is that is that correct? You've been uh, in charge for 10 years. Okay, so that's not as long as I thought it was. Uh, there's some poetry. Okay, we choose. We just say it's heartfelt. There's a scandal. Okay. And then we go in here and we hold our court. Settling the Riverlander. Um, okay. 
So we give somebody the Lordship of Riverrun. Uh, no. Indirect espionage. My guest, Garrison, approaches my throne with a smirk on his face and bows deeply. Greetings, Your Majesty. During my recent trip to the Chiefdom of Lorem Point to learn some fascinating tidbits about uh, several of Chief Death's sinuous L's uh, subjects. I don't care. Um, my vassal, Ma uh, Master Ormond, approaches the throne of a young man in tow. My legion lord, my acquaintance, uh, Balos Lancer, seeks the honour of serving in your retinue of knights. Is he any good? He's actually okay. Why don't you be my bodyguard, Balos? Wonderful. Uh, that seems good. Uh, yeah, that all seems pretty good to me. Don't need to worry about River Run. I'm assuming that it will uh, trend upwards anyway. Uh, yeah, it's going up by 0 0.6 per month. Should be fine. Okay, cool. And now we get back to waiting, which is okay. Just for things to fire, and more importantly, for this perk point to go through. Um, we can make him not feel well and gain progress for some money. Sure, let's do that. So now even closer to killing him, and his health is probably not looking that good. He's still feeling good, apparently. Well, never mind. Right, carrying on. Okay. Tainted gold. Um, my daughter and heir Johanna approaches me with a sw sweat uh, beating on her brow and a pale face. Father, something is wrong. My humours have been unbalanced ever since I helped you pack that gift for Lord Paramount Ethan. So this is what the four-year-old was saying. So she's not feeling well. She has a severe health penalty. That is not good. However, she is feeling fine, which will be fine. Uh, we're going to kill him with a mob. We're going to go for that. We're going to switch. Well, we'll wait a second. We have killed him. The peasants were hanged. Fantastic. Which now means that my mother-in-law now holds uh, the Stormlands. Wonderful. Do we have an alliance? We don't. We can make one, though, if we want. Okay. Make a little alliance with our mother-in-law. That seems good. We're then going to pivot over to this. We're going to go for... Does stewardship increase... Uh, or, sorry, decrease building speed? No. Uh, can we get up to the next level, which is 24? Maybe. Maybe. Let's go in here. Oh, actually, we already have 5 out of 6, so it's not for a domain limit. We don't need to worry. In fact, we could get an extra domain anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, but we could maybe even get an extra, extra one if we really go into it. Let's go for... It really depends what we want to do. We could also go monthly income, which will make us an absurd amount of money, but... This one's quite nice. Having enemy agent acceptance down is quite useful for not, um, yeah, for not having people plot against us. Let's just take this. We don't need extra domain. I'm then going to switch uh, you onto disrupting schemes, which gives us the scheme resistance. And then I am going to go to. Sorry, I was just figuring out where to go. Castly Rock. And we're going to take whichever one of these makes the most money. Although this one I think might be held by, it's held by a Lynette. Yeah, I think I recognize that one. So let's take uh, Pride Main away from this guy, from the Lannies. Yeah, let's take a, let's take Pride Main away. Go cool. revoke title, province of Pride Main. Wonderful. We now have that title. Cool. That seems good. Sorry, I just noticed these guys. Is that... That might actually be your color. Oh, that is their color. Cool. Right. Um, and now we have an extra holding. Great. Carrying on. We form an alliance of the Stormlands. So, that is looking good. Who's fighting against our liege? There's a Liberty faction. Okay. I mean, we can make that fire if we want to. But I don't really want to. Okay. Awesome. We're mostly set then. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. Yeah, no worries at all. We're about halfway to Castamere. Raymond is now 14. He is also now strong, which means that he's got a good amount of health. That, that seems good. Won't die. Always a positive thing. Our knight has entered a tournament. Uh there is some peasant rabble uh, against uh our liege, which we don't really need to worry about. It's just a new faction. 
it's going to reject these things as they pop up. People being excommunicated, that's all okay. Wonderful. Right, now we could in theory kill her. It's actually not in our best interest to kill Ballara though. If we kill Ballara, we lose uh, all these stats that we're currently getting. And the reason we do that is because uh, our wife goes and run would be running the Stormland, so it wouldn't be in our council. Um, so right now, this is ideal. This is fine. Because we can... She's not going to have any more children. It, ha it has to pass to Tansy. It's effectively then going to pass to Joanna. It's all going to be fine, right, on that path. So, yeah, we don't need to do anything about it. The only worry is if we don't have any more children, that could cause an issue. Because if we don't have any more children, then, um, and, like, Joanna dies, then then things could go wrong for us. But I'm assuming we're going to have more children, uh, given our wife is 24 and we're only, what, 22? That's fine. She is a woman now. It's been a good while since I saw, saw my old heartthrob, Liness. Even after all these years, the thought of her as the subject of my childhood infatuation occupies my mind in the midnight hours. She is a woman now and I cannot help but feel uh, myself reaching for my quill when I think of her. Perhaps I ought to make my feelings finally known. I can confess my love or I'll set aside these childish thoughts. Well, let's confess our love. Sure, why not? Affections were scorned. Alas. Oh well. That's fine. I mean, yes, we do have a, the other option, which is that we could uh, just go and seduce a bunch of people and get a bunch of children. We don't need to worry about that right now, but maybe we could in the future. The enmity between my vassals, Lord Aaron and Lord Jonal, is legendary. But it's gone so far that the other nobles of the realm have requested that I intervene. Border disputes, tax rights, family history. They have a litany of disputes, and even here at my court, they are barely able to maintain civility. Sure. Let's try and get a stewardship uh, perk point. Horses. Lord Aaron has yet another complaint today, of course. The horse bred in Coral Harbor have long been famous, but now merchants from Coldmoat are selling them as if they had bred them themselves in Coldmoat. Lord John will object to this. They are bred there, should the merchants lie about their wares. So I'd say origins must be respected, surely. Which gets us renown. And say they're not from Coral Harbor or Coldmoat, but the Westerlands, which is fair. Or, sounds like we might need a royal horse inspection fee. Let's say that they're from the Westerlands. Let's see how that goes. The insult. Lord Yonel insulted my acquaintance most grievously, implying that she shares beds with pigs. Sometimes the truth is less than flattering, Aaron. So it's a public apology. Petty squabbles are below even the two of you. Or, but surely it was actually a compliment if you think about it. Uh, because of our diplomacy skill. How was it a compliment? I don't know, but we, we're able to talk them into thinking it's a compliment. Okay. Favoritism. This was never going to be a fair um, uh, mediation, was it? Lord Aaron is deeply upset that as he marches out of the audience hall. The favoritism on display here is sickening. Lord Yonel remains calm. I disagree with that, uh, my lord. Why is he so unhappy? We only chose things that were fair, in theory. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, please come in. Give me some renown and some gold. Have we got any more settlement events? Or is that it? I think that was it. I think we lost our chance. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've seen that event chain before. I think it was a vanilla event chain, though. As in a base game one. Uh, inspired person can be sponsored. Do you want to make a brooch or a master? Alright, well, on you go. Make me a brooch. Right. The Beast of Castly Rock. My lord, the stratted child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a bear skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. Say, so that's hilarious. You need to be punished. You harass my daughter, you're exiled, or I really profoundly do not care. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, that is bloody hilarious. Fantastic. Okay. We have enough money now. I think I'm going to upgrade some of these things. Did we always have a building slot here? Or did we gain a building slot when one of the patches went on? I think we might have gained a building slot with a pat when a patch went on. Anyway, uh, let's, let's build in it anyway. 
Then go to see what we have here. I guess I'm gonna grab myself uh, some stables. They're actually kind of useful in general. River run, I can upgrade the windmills. High garden, we have another slot. Yeah, I must have gained a slot when one of the uh, patches went on, which is okay. Let's grab ourselves uh, some water mills. In pride main, we can upgrade the manor houses. Cool, seems good. All of that build. Feud targets of ire. Uh, I'm not going to reciprocate my feud with uh, the car Starks. We do not need one. Knight tutelage, we will accept that one. And pardon our vassals, sure. Seems good, we're all about gaining opinion. Inspiration, someone to impress. We will uh, make Alana Hayford my friend, I guess. Sure, I don't know why, but we'll make her my friend. Raymond is 15. We need a guardian for Joanna. Joanna is going to do a stewardship education out of those options. Uh, and then we need a guardian. Guardian for Joanna. Stewardship. We're looking for a genius. Why do I get the feeling it's us? Uh, that's because it's us. All right. She will become our ward. Wonderful. We need to station one of these ones. I will station you. Uh, in Pride Main. Cool. Right, uh, clear that out. And let things continue. Wonderful. The Voice of Reason. Another council meeting, another conflict. Lady Paramount Tansy and Castellan Peter are arguing violently about the training regime of the troops. Um... As Lord, I could silence them with a single word, but I have a better idea. My diplomatic pursuits have given me insight on how to handle situations like these to please everyone. Uh, let's try and find a compromise that works. I failed to. Well, that's not very good. Apparently, we are not able to do uh, any number of compromises. Hey, Raymond is now uh, 16. He's now actually apparently the spy master for this guy. Oh, he must have been put underneath Selmy, which is interesting. Um, but we can now get an, uh, we can now get the marriage done. Let's do that. Which now means that Raymond is married to Carole. Uh Weirdly, Raymond's uh, regent is still lawless, and I'm not even sure that she's eligible to be a regent. But sure. Um, he has now married my sister, which is great. Uh, declare me regent? No. That's fine. Request for funds? Sure, you can have more money. Also, did I see something weird in here? No, that's fine. I thought I saw something uh, that shouldn't be there, but I did not. That's fine. My sister can marry. So this is uh, Ambria Spevens. Uh, okay. So this is our half-sister between... Giles, Pike, Harlaw, and Sinel Spevens. I don't really know what we want to do with this sister. We get an alliance here with um, Terran Blackwood, who is somewhat related to us, I think. Yeah, th so this would get us an alliance with um, our cousin. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I'm not really too worried about who she marries because there's not really anything we can do with that. So, you know what? Sure. Let's get an alliance with one of our vassals and our cousin. That seems fine. Right. There we go. They are now marrying. We are now want to pay attention to Carole. So ideally, we want to see if Carole at any point becomes pregnant. Ah, she is currently, she currently has cancer. Now, you see, I told you that things could go wrong with her plots. And that is firmly something that could go wrong with her plots. Because now, she has a severe health penalty and she has lowered fertility. So, that is very, very unfortunate. Right, so let's clear out these things here. Yep, clear out all of them. And that. And let's carry on. Oh! Oh! Uh, Lawless is being attacked by Jane in a war against the tyranny. Hmm. 
We want to be on Lolis's side. Cool. We don't want to switch sides right now. Okay. Uh, we could, in theory, help out in this war if we wanted to. How many people are on each side? So there's 49 on one, 168 on the other, which means that pretty much our army is nearly all of... Uh, yeah, nearly all of our strength, but that's okay. Did the Stormlands join? Uh, no, they, they went neutral, apparently. Okay, interesting. Okay. Let's see, how does this look right now? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. We could raise our army and do some stuff with it, like we could go to Tremblay or something like that. Sure, let's raise our army and go to Tremblay. Our sister Leia Baelish can marry. Now, you, actually, what I want to do is I want to... Where are we? Request legitimize. Why do I want to legitimize L Lena? Well, because I'm looking at Carly thinking that might not be a long-term plan for us. And we could maybe get in a marriage in between. We'll see, though. Right, uh, you are going to stay unmarried. Right, just double-check. I thought there was a way of saying, like, um, yeah, there, I thought there was an option to be, like, you can marry, you can't marry. But anyway, if, if we're in charge of it, we're in charge of it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, here, I will invest in your project. Cool. That's fine. Just looking at Lady Carole again, just going, how long are you going to live for? <laughs> She's pregnant. Oh my god, it might work. Okay. I don't know what that was that it popped up there, but that's okay. So we're hoping, can she survive for nine months? Also, I raised my troops. I should probably, like, move them into, like, a place to attack, huh? Oh, they're just neutral? Uh, men at arms maintenance goes down. Okay, cool. Uh, who are we actually at war with, then? Oh, the ne nearest ones would be Crake Hall. All right, army, uh, go down here. Wonderful. That's fine. A curse undone. Rupert is dead. The Wrath Lion. Oh, he's the person we took the uh, title from. That's fine. Um, we're now sieging. Got 40 days left. It's going to be a very quick siege. New stewardship perk. Wonderful. We will take cutting corner stones, which doesn't matter too much, but the one after is very important. A pardon you. Right. How long have you been pregnant? Six months, so three months' time. Uh, there's a slave revolt targeting uh, Queen Lawless. Does she have slaves? I don't think she does, but maybe that's something to do with the patches. Because Essos probably would. Alright, we got a bloodied blade from that, which is uh, otherwise known as useless. Let's head up here. Three months left on this siege. We're not actually helping out on war score, I think. We're just like purely just sieging it because we can. But uh, anyway, let's do it. We have a new acclaimed knight. Does that mean I need a new successor? No, I guess the successor was found. Okay. Nine months. Okay. I'm waiting. We're on the ninth month. We have a niece. She is ill, but we have one. Ravala Baelish is, in theory, in line to the Iron Throne. Okay. I would prefer one that wasn't uh, sickly, but that's okay. Snell so willingly exposed who has been spying on you, begging you for mercy. It was Lord Richard. How do you wish to proceed? She'll be banished. This is our mother, Snell Spevens. It was rotten a cell. She uh, will be killed or the scheming has to stop. Yeah, stop scheming and then you can be let go. That's fine. Niece is still not feeling great. Okay. Blackmail. I know that you're King Stefan's real killer. That one sucks. You're a neighboring ruler in North Breach. But where is North Breach? North Breach would be within the Vale. Okay, you can have a hook on me. I don't want to reveal that information just yet. We'll get 10 gold for the person in my prison. Uh, back over here. Lure of a Vendetta. 
Uh, the whole my cousin Peter's death has left him uh, so Peter Bayless my cousin related to how? Parent was Kraken. Oh, okay, so he was that line. The whole my cousin Peter's death has left my heart remains clawed open each time I think of his foul killer and the justice that remains to be served. Day after day, the cruel logic of revenge dominates my thinking, fueled each night by fit in fitful dreams where I see John and Olive House car start racked by the same grief my family endures. Could the rumours be true? Was this provoked uh, by killing long ago? Okay. Well, look around you. Lady Dalla is going to become my nemesis. Okay. I've started the feud and I'm going to kill her. There we go. Right. That's fine. Just to stop them killing people who are related to me, like my niece. Or my sister. Both of those would be bad. In general. Right. Secret exposed. It's not but malice and lies, we will say. Bunch of buildings are finishing, which is cool. We're being raided. Less cool. Um, okay. Clear these out. Lythena's also been spying on me. Yeah, just stop it. Stop spying on me. I don't need people to spy on me. Lana is dead, so that's our friend that we got this episode. He's already dead. Realm will lose land if vassals die. This is the one where you have to be like, all right, what are you inheriting? You're inheriting Manderfield. Uh, okay, maybe they will lose land. They shouldn't, though. What are you inheriting? I don't know. There we go. I think that one fixed it. Yeah. Oh, I think he can inherit because it's a higher title. No, he shouldn't be able to inherit. Anyway, whatever. He won't anyway because it's all within our realm anyway. It just... Um, yeah, we, they're just currently neutral in the war. It's fine. Oh, we're being attacked. You've defeated them. A prisoner died in my dungeon. Oh, right, yeah. Have we got anybody in our dungeon we can let go? Like all of these people, probably. Uh, We could just release them all, but that's going to lower our dread. Yeah, we need to work out what we're doing with each of them individually. Let's get some gold for that one. Let's pardon our vassals. Cool. Regalia needs uh, fixing. Sure, let's fix it. Wonderful. Carrying on. This is all fine. Right, how long have we got till Castamir? Yeah, a little bit. Her niece is still sickly. You are still not pregnant again. Okay. It's fine. I think I missed something here, didn't I? I actually missed several things here, because you have another one somewhere. Or is that the one I just got? That's the one I just got. Ah, so it's this one. Okay. Just to get the capital. Apparently they're losing. How are you losing this war? How could you be losing the war? Like, you literally have all of our troops. You're just, like... You're losing due to sieges? Wait, they went and just took King's Landing? Oh my. Okay. We are currently taking attrition. Let's head back to our territory. Let's abandon this. Let's go to King's Landing. Okay, I didn't realize that they were just terrible. I was like, oh, they have 100,000 troops. They'll be able to win the war. No. We are reinforcing while in um, enemy territory, which is good. Owners has approached me saying he's discovered the continued legitimacy of my line lineage is at risk unless I take action. Okay. Some stones are better left unturned. Okay. Blackmail. You know I'm Jared Baratheon's real killer. I'm not that worried about that one. You can expose that secret. I mean, I'm not that worried about Stefan, to be honest. Crafting trees. Or grafting trees. While riding near the wood, I come across a maester conducting an odd experiment with some wild fruit trees. When I ask what he's doing, he explains he's grafting different trees together. Apparently, by splicing the branch from one tree onto the branch of another similar one, a single tree can be made to produce fruit of both varieties. Hmm. This land is mine. You will leave. Uh, you will leave now. We get. We can get rude. Uh. Hmm. An orchard of different fruits on one tree. I wonder where this event chain leads. Okay. Let's head over here. 
And let's attack. Uh, we're gonna kill Lady Dalla. Lady Dalla is dead. And say justice is served. And we get stalwart family for 25 years. And the feud will end. Fantastic. Justice is served. Feud is over from our side. Right. Our wife is pregnant. That is good. Uh, Lady Carole is not looking good. She is pregnant again. However, she is also disfigured, wounded, and probably had a bad treatment. Yeah, so she's going to die any second now. Lord Harwin grew up hating you. Oh, lovely. How many months have you been pregnant? Six. Okay, chance of another child. Our counselor is dead. We need a new marshal. That's going to be Cleos. Right. This is fine. Carolee is dead. Okay, okay. Uh, it's paused. Ray Raymond. Arrange marriage between you and my half-sister. Matrilineally. You will not accept because you don't want matrilineal marriage anymore. Okay. I will accept you being married just purely to get a marriage in. So you can't marry anyone else. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Lady Carole is dead. We have once again got that through there. So that means we need to push it to Ravala quickly, which means in theory we need to kill Lawless. If I kill her, I do uh, invalidate the war as well. Uh... I think I do this. Right. Anyone want to be invited? High Septum's in. Fantastic. And then I'll switch you to helping as well. Let's see. So we're marching our way into King's Landing. I need an, a leader of my army. I didn't notice I'd lost one. Ten months left to siege this back. I could defeat their army, I suppose. Doesn't think I'll win. That's the problem. Let's attack. Why doesn't they think I'll win? Army is starving. Uh, that's, that, that's true. I am, however, locked into the fight. So, let's see. Mm, okay. I think we've lost. Uh... I can let that person drop out of my scheme. I don't think it matters. Yeah, that's fine. 18 months till we the plot goes through. We have lost. However, did that count as a battle? It did. Oh, no. So now... Uh, Lawless is going to be deposed. So now I don't need to kill Lawless. I think. Let's, let's wait on this. Okay, okay, okay. Raymond is now in charge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, 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 pause. Right, so Raymond is now in charge. Raymond's heir is Ravella, my niece. Raymond needs to die. <laughs> why, why has it got no chance? I don't know. Okay, let's just wait a second here. Okay. You can transfer some vassals between each other? Sure. That seems fine. Right, carry on. Uh, I need a new chancellor. New chancellor is going to be Garland. Okay. I no longer need to kill Lawless Baratheon. It no longer matters to me. I now need to kill Raymond, my brother-in-law. Anyone? Oh, 60 people can be invited, including my half-sister. Okay, let's get my half-sister in here. Let's get the High Septum in here. Let's get the next one, and then we'll, we'll call it a day on people being invited. Okay, cool. Then, I would like you to declare me regent. You won't do that? What if I sent you a gift? Then you declare me regent, right? No. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> we can try. What's, what's, why, why are you not underneath me? I think you should be. Oh, because you should be underneath the Stormlands, maybe? I don't know. You, you're just kind of broken. That's fine. 
Okay, we need a new successor to the bearer of the Lord's Raiment. We'll seek a worthy person. Prisoners, we can sort that out. Okay. Court Grandeur is now level 10. Not going to do those things. We could go pay homage to our liege, but we need to do that in a second. We'd sort our vassals. Okay. I think this is a good point to end the episode. Here's where we're at. If Raymond dies before Ravella dies, succession pushes things into our family, right? So if Raymond dies, it would then go to Ravella. Ravella's heir would be us because Carole cannot be the heir, right? Because she's dead. But Carole's heir would have been us. Therefore, it will, it will drop to us. So, if we can kill Raymond, Ravella's heir should be us. We then kill Ravella, it then reverts to us. We hold the Iron Throne. Done. Stormlands would need to go another generation because we're not able to kill our own children, but it could go Joanna. There's, there's a way of... Do, the Stormlands is kind of there as our backup plan. But I think we are two murders away from actually getting everything that we need. I think. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.